What's up, Weedle Nation? Welcome back to the channel. So today in the mail, I got my gift exchange present from the Pokemon Picante Facebook page. If you're not a part of that, you should look them up. Uh, I got this guy here, which is really cool. I actually already have this one, so we're gonna open that up. I thought it was really cool. I haven't opened one yet, but I really like the promo card, which you can get in English, but Japanese usually just looks better. Plus, I really wanted to see this binder. He also sent me an Astral Radiance booster pack, Silver Tempest booster pack. Uh, I believe this was like the Kellogg's one. I'm not 100% sure. And then some Pokemon Go Japanese. And then these sets, I have no idea what they are. I think it's like Evolutions Japanese version. And maybe Evolving Skies, maybe, I don't know. But those, we're going to open those guys up. Uh, he also sent me a couple of graded cards also. Um, but I figured, what's the point of showing those? Um, yeah, it was a PSA 10 Evolutions Pikachu, just a non-hollow. Which is really cool because me and my daughters collect Pikachu things. And it's really cool to add to the collection. This is a little book that comes with it. Is that like a... Ah, I'll open it and look in a minute. We'll see what it actually is. There you go. I don't know what those do, but you can... Scan those Johns and see what they do. That's cool. That's cool. I also got the, uh, my other friend who's used to live in Japan, I guess, technically. He just recently got back from Japan. He brought me back a, uh, a couple of things also in this really cool Pikachu bag. This guy right here came from the Pokemon Center, I'd imagine, but it came from there. I thought that was really cool. Move that over for now. Open up this book thing. I don't know where it, it kind of looks like a binder, but I'm not 100% sure. I'd imagine that's what it is. Let's open it up and see. Oh yeah, that's what it is. It's just two card binders. That's pretty cool though. I'd imagine that'll probably fit the Japanese Pokemon Go set. Maybe, I don't know. I don't, I'd imagine the Japanese set's almost as big as the English set, if not bigger. Let me grab sleeves real quick because I don't think this Pikachu is sleeved in here. There's the Pikachu. Um, I'm probably gonna send it off to get graded while I am deployed. And uh, hopefully it comes back something something decent. It looks like it's in really good condition, but who knows, PSA, CGC, we'll see. There it is, beautiful card. So we'll open these two at the same time because it's just Japanese Pokemon Go. And then this separates from here. Looks like we got four packs in here. I don't remember if it was Pokemon Go or if it was the celebrations that had like the specialty packs so you can only get certain cards from certain things. I believe that was the celebrations where you had to have like the gold packs to get the good cards. But we'll see. So these were the two loose ones. These were the four packs that came in it. We'll start with these. So before I open these packs, let me know what you think we're gonna get the best pulls out of, whether it's the Pokemon Go or these other random packs here. Actually, let's open uh, let's open these two first. We'll set those two aside. We'll open the regular, the modern English packs first before we get into the other ones, just because I still need a few things from these sets. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. There's a code card for you. Four cards to the front, starting with a V-Star marker. See it? There it is. All right, Slurpuff, Honchcrow, Raichu, Sandygast, Relicanth, Halucha. There's a Pikachu like that that's really cool. Like Pikachu Libre, I believe it's called. It's, it's a pretty cool card. Petalil, Reverse Holographic, Melodic, and a Verizian, Verizon Wireless, non-holographic. Next pack, which is folded and weird. Let's see what we can get. Which one was this? This was Astral Radiance. It's a white code card again. Oh no. One, two, three, four cards to the front. Start off with a Grass, Energy, Dartrix, a Balloon Guy, a pair of shoes, a fish, that guy, a little Hoot Hoot Owl looking thing, Ponyard, Poochion, a little doggy dog. Magnezone Reverse, which I don't think I need, and then Feeble, which I definitely do not need. We'll set those guys over here to the side. I will open the other English thing. I don't like to open these because I already have the completed sets, but 
It is what it is. I'm going to open it anyway because it came in the mail with everything else. I believe there's only a few hollows you can actually get from these sets. There's not a whole lot, but there's a few. I think the Pikachu is like a standard. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it is because there's a hollow Pikachu. I think that's pretty much every pack. And then Dreepy and a Galarian Surfetch. So nothing good from that one other than the Pikachu, which has some insane hollow bleed. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but off camera, it's got some really nice hollow bleed. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, you probably can't really see it. You can see it up here though. You see all that? All those little dots? That's awesome. Ooh, I thought the centering was really good, but it's kind of far off. It's okay. Set that to the side, and there we go. So we'll get into it now. So these were the loose packs, the two loose packs that came. Open those first. Is there a specialty to these? I know there's like a weird way you should open these because they're kind of hard to open sometimes. I don't have the the, uh, the trick down on how to open these. I don't even remember if it was a card trick or anything. There's a little Pokemon Go thing. There's a little scan code. I don't know what you get for those, but there's that for you guys. You can scan that. Start off with the Pikachu. Very nice. Then that guy. I don't really know all these names. That's like Mel Metal or something like that. That's that stupid guy. Hollow Gyarados. Not bad. And then the Energy, which is hollow also. That's pretty cool. I really like how that <laughs> says Pokemon Go there. Japanese is just so much cooler. Also, English is starting to do this now. So when Scarlet and Violet comes out, they're starting to do the silver borders instead of the crappy borders, the yellow borders like they do on the English sets. I guess people complained enough to where they're going to switch it. And they're talking about upping the price and all kinds of stuff, making it a little more expensive because I guess there's supposed to be like three hollows per pack or something now. And it's just a lot of a lot of ish they're adding to it to try to boost up sales I guess I don't really know here is that other one there's another code for you guys again no clue what these do I'd imagine the same thing as the English version does let's see so we got a bird a Charmander a guy that I think is hollow usually in the English set slow bro slow poke slow king and Tyranitar oh yeah and a hollow energy very nice electric energy so nothing great from those. The T-Tar is pretty cool. And I really like just the silver just kind of makes everything pop. So that's really cool. All right. This is from that box. Can I rip it this way? Oh, check that out. That was so much easier. That works so much better. My daughter's mad that I'm opening packs without her. I told her that uh, I needed to make a video and she got mad because... I told her to try to stay a little bit quieter. I had to put the dog outside because he likes to stomp around and make all kinds of noise. So I'm gonna have to let her open some packs when I'm done here. Blastoise Hollow and then another Energy, very nice. So I don't know if you can even get the good cards from these. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. I haven't opened very many Japanese Pokemon Go packs, so I'm not 100% sure if you can even get anything good from the regular packs or if there's like specialty packs like they did for celebrations or what. Hopefully we find out here in a second. Maybe we'll get something. There's a code for you. We want the energy to the front. Let's put the energy in front of the last card. That way we end on the regular hollow. How about that? Whatever that bird's called, like Honchcrow or something. Another Charmander. There's that thing. What's that? Natu's Evolution. Zatu, I think it is. The energy is a darkness energy and a Melmetal. I think the other one was Meltang and Melmetal, I think is what it was. I know this was like, and when you played Pokemon Go, you can get this guy from playing Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. You had to get those little boxes from trading back and forth. And it took like 400 candies to evolve it. Something insane like that. It took me forever. I only did it once. I wasn't even trying to do it again because it took so long. Here we go. There's a code right side up. Move this back behind this. That last card definitely had texture. So we're definitely getting something on that guy. What do we got there? Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting something. That's super exciting. Felt like it had texture. 
All right, here we go. We got the little bird, not the big bird. Slow poke, not slow bro. We got that guy, which I can't remember his name. It evolves into Tyranitar. War Turtle. Electric Energy. And what did we get? Oh, there we go. A Radiant Venusaur. That's pretty cool. I believe I actually graded one of these recently. Or maybe it's headed to grading. I don't really remember, to be honest with you. But that's really cool. It's a little off-center, so it's definitely not PSA or CGC material, but it is still very cool. All right, last pack. Hopefully we can get something cool out of this one also. Don't care if it's a Radiant or not. I haven't even been looking if any of the other cards were Dittos. I believe you can get Dittos out of this also, the Japanese set. Actually, I know for a fact you can because I did get Dittos out of the Japanese set before. What's that card? Oh, that's definitely got some texture too. Uh-oh. 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 It's probably another Radiant. I felt some texture there, so hopefully... Maybe it's the Charizard Radiant. That'd be pretty cool too. I believe I did pull the Japanese Charizard and Venusaur. I think the Blastoise is the only one I didn't get in the Japanese Radiant. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, Chansey. The Hollow is fighting. And the last Pokemon Ghost is... Oh, there we go. We got the Full Art Trainer. That's not bad at all. It is a Secret Rare. That's super cool. Can't... Can't really complain, actually. So you definitely can get pretty much anything. Um, I It would have been really cool to get, like, the floating Mewtwo from this, but I don't think I've seen the Japanese version of it. That's still, that's a really good pull. That's not bad from the Pokemon Go. So, so far, this is what we got from the Pokemon Go. These two guys right here. Hopefully we can beat that somewhere in here. That would be really cool, but we'll find out. We will find out here in a moment. Let me move these Pokemon Go cards over. I guess I can put all of my Japanese bulk together. I really don't know much about these sets. What is What set is this? What is that? Almost kind of looks like a Fusion Strike, but I don't remember what set Typhlosion was from. Um, maybe the Silver Tempest? Maybe? That definitely looks like Evolving Skies. And that kind of looks like Evolving Skies or Eeveelution. I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care, to be honest with you. We'll just open these up. Um, I've opened a couple of these, not a whole lot. So I have no idea what comes in this set. But we'll find out. Guess we'll see. I know some of these sets were like their version of holiday sets or whatever, where there's like 10 booster packs per box. And you can get some pretty cool stuff from them. I think they're like guaranteed certain cards. Um, I don't know if any of these are or not, but I guess we'll see. Definitely getting a hollow. It's the dog. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, check that out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's the uh, the trainer gallery version of the, uh, the card we just got before that. This guy right here. Houndor, I think it is. One of those, that's really cool. These ones are called character rares, so I guess it's a little different. But it is from 2022, so that's not bad. We got one more from that set here. Hopefully we get something wonderful. Let's try to open this guy up without hurting the cards. Flip it around. We got that ugly little wannabe elephant. That mean fish. That lantern thing, that shouldn't be a Pokemon. Uh, that's the uh, the evolution of Rhydon, or Rhyhorn, or Rhyperior, or whatever his name is. Miltank, Holographic. Oh, I love these so much. I love these. There's like, they used to be like stained glass or whatever they were called before. I'm gonna sleeve this up because it's cool. I don't know what they're called on these. I'd imagine it's just the reverse hollow. I'd imagine that's what it's called on this, but I just love the like the Pokeball pattern on it. I think it's really cool. All right, what are we getting into next? The Vulpix, maybe Astral Radiance. Feels a little heavy. We'll see. If it's Astral Radiance, that'd be pretty cool. There's some cool cards in Astral Radiance. Maybe we'll get a cool card from this. This feels heavy though. Something about it just feels heavy. And that last card feels thick. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. That's a dude with hand blades. That's another dude with hand blades. 
It's a whole bunch of Edward Scissorhands in here. Baby Fox. The Wannabe Dratini. A Hollow Mewtwo. That's not bad. That's actually really cool. Oh, check that out. Another Wannabe Dratini. This is another one of the character rare cards. Super cool. I do really like the Japanese versions. If you just look, like, the colors just pop so much nicer with those borders. And I'm hoping the English kind of does the same thing. Like, when they bring out their silver borders, I'm kind of hoping that they pop as good as the Japanese does. Uh, am I going to sleeve Mewtwo? Sure, why not? Why not? We'll sleeve them up. So you didn't get the reverse hollow in that because you got this character rare guy. I don't know. I almost feel like these uh, these other sets are starting to win a little bit. If we get any more pulls, if we get just one more pull, I'm going to say that the uh, the random packs won over the Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, we only got the two hits. All right, Growlithe. What are you going to give us? This is a fish. It's like e-bass or something, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't really remember most of these Pokemon's names. Like, I have, like, I know this is an older set, like, a little after Neo, I think it was, but I don't remember its name. A trainer dude. There we go. Ho uh oh. That's not bad at all. Ah, oh, Love Disc. Such a cool looking card. Just love those things so much. Let me know if you like this this hollow pattern, this Pokemon ball hollow pattern. I think those are really cool. Ho uh oh. Even like the the words kind of pop a little more in this. If you look at the Japanese text, it kind of pops. Like, it almost looks like it's textured compared to the rest of the card or compared to the English version. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it looks cooler. All right, we got three packs left. We got the two Wannabe Evolving Skies and the other Wannabe Evolving Skies. I don't really know what these are, if I'm being honest with you. This might be Eevee Heroes. I think that's Eevee Heroes. And this is a Rayquaza, which I thought Rayquaza was like Evolving Skies also, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is Eevee Heroes. I'm like something percent sure, just not a hundred. All right, there you go. There's some energies. There's that little dude, whatever his name is, like Bidoof, not Bidoof, but I don't know. It might be Doof, who knows? You guys know, I don't know. All right, here we go. What do we got going on here? Look at that little, the sand Pokemon, the bear. What do we got? The fat dude? He's not really fat, he might be fat, I don't know. A Persian? You're not even guaranteed hollows in these ones. Oh no. Oh no. We might not get anything from this pack. Hey, nay. That's okay. It's all right. It's okay. We'll open it anyway. We're definitely getting something from this one. I saw a black border on there. There's that thing. Don't know what it is. But we'll start off with the, what is that, Voltorb? It looks like. Eevee from Eevee Heroes. That's, yeah. I know his name, I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Glaceon, not bad. And then that guy there. That's pretty cool. That's a Glaceon, it's just a regular set. I don't think it's a secret rare. It's just a, a, a rare, 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 a rare, rare, rare. It's a really, really rare, I guess is what that stands for. Honestly, I don't know what that stands for, but it's rare. All right, here we go. Last one is a, Raquaza, 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 whatever, however Real Breaking Nate says it. All right, we got the last pack, and it looks like we're not going to get anything. Oh, no. All right, you got this guy with his weird head. We got a Snowflake, which, again, I feel like shouldn't be a Pokemon. We got these guys. There's two of them. You got the little guy and the red and the blue guy. And that guy, I think there's one more card, right? Or is that, no, there's one more. Okay, last card is stupid. Nothing. The only thing that sucks about Japanese is when you don't get like a hollow or anything, it's not rare. So every rare is a holographic in Japanese as far as I know. So all these are gonna be like uncommons and commons. They so common, 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 uncommon. I'm pretty sure everything in Japanese that's not a rare is uncommon and common obviously it's it's not anything is not a hollow is uncommon or common they don't have rare non-hollows as far as i know but i think that's gonna do it so from the random packs if i can pick these up
We ended up getting four poles, which isn't bad. We got two character rares, a Ho-Ho and a Glaceon. So that's actually really good. And then from the Pokemon Go packs that we opened, we ended up getting this guy, which I don't remember his name. And then we got the Radiant Venusaur. So that's not bad either. Value-wise, I have no idea. I don't really care. I'd imagine it's probably this guy and this lot here. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. Don't care. I'm just in it to open packs because I love opening packs. But I think that's going to do it for me. Let me know down below which one did win. If you've already guessed without cheating and going to the end. But that's going to do it for me. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.